Hey guys, it's Kay, I hope you're all well. Now in today's video, I'm looking at the MeCool Android TV box. This is a new device from MeCool, which comes with a built-in speaker. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. So one of the cool things about this is that it comes with hands-free voice control. And of course, being me cool, it comes in a very smart package. And with Android TV, we get all the perks, including all the apps from the Google Play Store and Google Assistant. So you can ask the device what's the weather like, or what's the news, and other lovely things like that. And other cool features include hands-free control, and of course all your video entertainment. And on this device we get privacy protection with a button on the top which you can click, and it will mute the mic. And the other cool thing is we get touch control on the actual device. So we can pause and play, and adjust the volume of the media we're playing, by just touching the surface of the MeCool device. And of course we've got Chromecast built in, and the device is compatible with Amazon Prime, YouTube and Google Play Store. So the first thing we see in the box is the MeCool KA1 Android TV device. And it's quite a weighty device, which fills me with some confidence that we've got a quality device here. In the center we've got our status indicator lights, which light up in the Google colors when you switch it on. And below that we've got the microphone mute button, and on the very top you've got two little holes, which are both your microphones, for hands-free control. Now this speaker material is very nice and tactile to the touch. Here's the infrared receiver for your remote. On the back we've got our ports. We've got our power in, our HDMI, our LAN port for wired connection to the internet, and a USB 3 port. On the bottom we've got the rubber feet with some ridge texture on the base. Overall guys, the build quality and design is great and well thought out. So what else do we get in the box? Well, we've got the instruction booklet for one, and it does a great job of covering the basics and the features of the box. We also get a premium looking HDMI cable, and the all important remote control. As you would expect, it's fully featured, coming with your power on, TV input, Google Assist, settings button, and we get a bookmark button here. Your select and d-pad, back and home button, TV button, volume up and down, mute, channel up and down, and of course you get your dedicated buttons. And it takes two AAA batteries, and a nice little design touch here. And finally in the box we get the power adapter, which is 12 volts at 2 amps. Ok guys, so this is all you get in the box. Next we're going to see how the MeCool KA1 performs in gaming and media playback. As soon as you power up, you get the Home Plus splash screen. This is followed by the Android TV splash screen. You then need to go through the process of pairing your remote, which you do so by pointing the remote at the MeCool Android TV device, and pressing the OK button and volume down button simultaneously. And then it's just like setting up a mobile phone, you select your language, and you can set up your account with your phone, or go through it manually like I did. Select your network ID and then input your password, Input your Google account, which is normally your email and password. Accept the terms and conditions. And I selected yes to the Google Assistant, as the MeCool has got a built-in mic. And then just install your apps from your account. So guys, as you can see, it's a fairly stock Android setup. Then we get a little splash screen with the features. So Android TV, with Google Play. And of course this comes with Google Assistant. So you can just talk to it and tell it what you want. And of course with Chromecast you can cast your mobile phone screen or any other device to the TV. And that's it guys, we are into a stock Android TV installation. So let's go into our settings and then scroll down to storage and let's see what we've got. So we've got a total space of 32GB internal storage. Which is split between your regular slots of apps, photos, audio and downloads. And you can see here I've got 26GB available after I've installed some apps. And now if we head back to the main menu and then scroll down to display and sound. And clicking on screen resolution you can see I can take full advantage of the 4K output at 60Hz. As I am using a 4K monitor here. And the other cool thing this MeCool Android TV box supports is HDMI CEC. And this basically allows the MeCool to wake up your TV when it's powered on. And further down we've got some sound settings. And then even further down we've got some advanced sound settings. And back on the main menu we've got some home screen settings which are your usual Android TV Google device settings. And below that we've got our Chromecast settings, where you can control who can cast to the device. So if you're not familiar with Android TV, I'll just go through a few of the basics. So up top we've got our Android Assistant, we can search for multimedia content, and we've got our settings cog all the way to the right here. Scroll all the way down to device preferences, and then click on about. And if we scroll all the way down, we can see we're on Android TV OS version 11. 
and security patch level 5th of November 21. Now whenever I get a new device in, I always do a system update check to make sure I'm running the latest software. And here you can see I've got the latest software. Now while we're here, let's do a quick test of Google Assistant. London weather. Now what you heard there was Google Assistant on my monitor speakers and we all know that monitor speakers are not very good so in a few moments I'll show you how to turn on the inbuilt speakers of the Miikul cool Android TV which give you a richer, deeper sound but let's just take a quick look around on the Miikul cool Android TV's home screen so as you can see it's pretty stock Android you've got your apps, you've got your media, you've got your Google Play Store and of course you can add any of your apps to your favourites bar or alternatively view all your apps and get more and of course, as usual, if you're not happy with what's on the Google Play Store for your Android TV, all the other alternative methods work with this device. So before we do anything else, let's turn on the internal speaker of the MeCool cool Android TV. So let's head into settings, scroll down to device preferences, and then scroll down to the display and sound option. And then from here, we scroll all the way down to sound output device. And here, make sure that speaker is selected and not HDMI, otherwise you're going to get the sound from your HDMI device, which in my case was the monitor. Okay, now that's done, let's go into YouTube and check out the sound on this device. So guys, I think you can agree with me that that was excellent playback at 4K with no stuttering or lagging. And of course the speaker sounds amazing. And no surprises here, I found gaming equally as impressive. Weapon upgrade. Now it's worth mentioning here, I'm playing this game with the remote control supplied with the Mi Cool device, but you can easily attach a PlayStation or Xbox controller for those games that require it. So overall guys, I'm very impressed with this Android TV device from Mi Cool. It's an all-around media entertainment device and it also caters for your gaming needs. It's basically a 2-in-1 Android TV smart speaker equipped with a Google Assistant and a 4K Android TV box. Ok guys, if you found this video helpful, please do give us a like and do consider subscribing to the channel as I'm always producing new content weekly. And I'll see you all in the next one.